so everyone welcome back to motorsport manager career mode my goodness me we've done it again in the practice session this time though we've um, pretty much like we're in the top spots we had a an east spirit uh one three in that session with Ovin getting the best and navarro well getting third not that it's a big deal. In the last one, we managed to outscore our rivals, who Rodriguez is part of, is Boa Asperenza. So, they came 5th and ninth in that one, although their race pace is quite strong. So, we need to kind of outscore them by 5 points because to extend our lead, because that's what we did last time. We are currently 5 points ahead. So, we need to make sure we score at least five points more than them to be in with a shot, really, of the uh, the second place um, that we aimed for. Qualifying's in the wet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, it's not going to really matter. Um, ooh, this one's good. Refueling's quicker. Soft tyres wear slower. Um, I'm going to do this for now. Right. Setup-wise, this was so, so difficult. I couldn't even get the setup bang on at all with any of these. Now, now this is actually quite interesting. Look at the, there's no, there's, there's going to be no rain like two minutes from the end. I wonder if we can be cheeky. I'll see if we can. Although we're on inters at the minute. Everyone else is on wets. Have you seen it? It's going down so much. Everyone's made a big mistake. Come on, Navarro's going to get somewhere and he's in a clear, he's in a clear track and he's first. So we're going to send, that's perfect, that's a great setup as well. So we're going to send out Ovin again and this time he's got a bit of a clearer track. So we're going to see if we can push even further with this because I don't want any of the others getting in first place. Alright, here we go, here we go, it's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth now. Oh, he's got masses of traffic. He's got so much traffic. This is this isn't very good at all. Why are they Oh my god, they're going on the dry tires. Oh dear, this isn't good. This is purple. Oh shit. No, no way, no way that's happened. No way. I can't believe that. No. How's that feasible? This is this is horrendous. I have absolutely screwed up here. Oh my god, he's last near enough. Right, this is where the strategy pays right off now. Um you see these two needed to swap around. Um to do that. Right, okay. Navarro needs to really push on the start. Um you need to go full attack, mate. Terrible at the back of the army. He's like literally second to last at the back. He needs to absolutely blitz his way past everyone. So, Ovin, we're going to leave him to do his work. Oh my god, he's already up a place. Navarro needs to do his. Oh, he's going. He's going pretty well. Well done, Navarro. Good start. Good start from Ovin as well. Right, he's up to 17th. Navarro needs to make his moves quickly off the start. Navarro's up into fifth, that's good. Barreling down fourth place. Ovin's in 16th, going to 17th. Now we're going to have to put him on a high mode to maintain the gap or even get up further. Need to really push, really, really push. Okay, that's a decent pace he's keeping at the minute. Right, I'm going to give up in this battle here because I don't think it's going to work. Um, his tyres are a bit worn as well. Navarro's pretty bad. It's 34% wear. I could go. Right. They've lasted about eight laps. It's a two-stop for Navarro. 
right Woodford. So the the immediate problem is Paget because he's well she's terrible form wise and in sixth, so we're okay for that. Um, Rodriguez is on the softs. So Ovine wants to get past Fox. Now we can go on undercut and go on the, the soft tyre. Which I think that's what we're going to do because he needs to get up the field somehow. Uh, how long are those tyres? Right. 10 to 12 laps and we've worn them out in a quite a long time. 14 to 16 laps, however. So. We're going to fuel quite a lot. We'll do that. Don't screw up the pit stop. And then I think... Navarro will come in on the following lap. And oh, Orvine's past Fox, believe it or not. Or not briefly past Fox anyways. First pit stops of the day coming from us anyway, so... I probably should have held on his last now, so it's going to be a troll to get back. There we go. Right, okay, let's see what we can do. Right, can we get the strategy spot on? Alright, this is where... Uh, Ovin can get a few places. There we go, 17th. This is going to be bad. It's going to be very, very bad. Ah, actually, it's probably not bad because Navarro is trapped behind the rest of them. So you can just go normal for now. Right, he's going to have to conserve. These tyres are terrible. He needs to get them up to temperature and then they need to stay in the like recommended tyre window and then they can stop wearing like really quickly. That's the problem right now. Tyreway's not going very well for us. And all these, right, you can just chill out a little bit. Oh no, he's got trapped! <laughs> You're kidding me. Navarro's seventh. We'll probably get the lead. What? The lead at this rate? Yes, he's going to be in the lead. Let's uh, back it up a bit. Let them get ahead and use the tyres. Oh, he's crashed. There was no point in pitting there. There was literally no point. He was nowhere near the bloody thing. If anything, Navarro should have pitted. And I think... We might be in a spot of bother. Later on in the race. Yeah, Alright, chill out, buddy. Chill out. Just chill out a little bit. Ovine's probably out of it at this rate. Another one? What? What's going on here? Rodriguez is gone. Rodriguez is gone. He, look, stop. <laughs> Want me to pit now? That's where he is. That's the pit lane. No. No chance, buddy. No chance. Again, this is what we need. Um, he needs to push, actually, because otherwise the tyres are going to be shit. And I'll... Um... If anything, Navarro should go on the decent tyres. And Navarro still needs to. Um, if we're good enough, we can push past these. Because they these are all on the um, soft tyres, uh, super soft. So look at um, a big speed boost. So as long as we're within 15 seconds, I think they need to pit again. Navarro still needs to pit again because he, he needs more. I mean, he needs to use the other set of tyres. Oh, there we go. We're in second. Only a matter of time. Just get past first. Quickly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, please. Just to go full on attack. Actually, this rate, it's not going to work. Nah, you see, you see, you see. Conserve it. Back up, back up a bit. Back up a bit, son. Back up a bit. There we go. Woo, there we go. You see. Oh, go on, neutral. Right, you need to go full attack mode. Come on, you need to get past. There we go. He's got a mechanical issue. He's got a mechanical issue. He's still driving the car pretty well. 
Navarro's what third? How has he got to third? How was he third? Push. Need maximum points. I'd like a win. Orvin is getting up the places. Getting up the places. Oh my god. BHC, should I come in for a pit stop? Yes, you should actually. Actually, no, you shouldn't because there's 44 seconds left. Ah, but thinking that, hang on a minute, let's take a look. We're in the lead. Navarro here. Where are we going to go? Are we going to go down to this level? I don't want to risk anything at this stage. I really don't because it's so, it's so annoying. They're supposed to last 10 laps and they're not going to if we pit. I could probably hang on for another couple of laps. Meanwhile, there's Ovin. Doing quite well. He's going to need a strategy change. He really is. He's going to get past. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that's happened. Navarro is terrible. Ah, someone bloody done the refueling. That's why. That w I thought that was strange. Ah, I thought that was very strange and I wasn't far wrong there. Right, Paget's got five points. And we'd be three points still in front. Right, we need points. At least a point. Paget's going to run out. Oh my god, I'm right. Right, Ovin, you just chill out, son. You just chill out, buddy. Meanwhile, Lavaron is to go for it. Right. This is where it gets exciting because all these people are going to have to pit. And I think this will shoot Orvine up. So I think Orvine's strategy was the best one. Get in the pit lane, get some tyres on, absolutely fly by. Don't know if, uh, yeah, Navarro's going to overtake him. I think I might have buggered myself a little bit. No matter. Go, son. 10th and 12th at the minute. Although that doesn't really hinder our position. Although Paget is on the back of Orvin currently. Gun it down the straight, go on full attack as well. There we go, fourth place. Orvin's going to be very happy that he's caught in traffic now. <laughs> he's, he's gone up from pretty much last to 10th. Oh my god, second. Oh my god, no way. No way that's happened. I take it for Orvin, oh my god, we're still getting in it. We've still got a chance. Leclerc. Although I think Orvin's going to finish where he is, I think. Unless we gun for one more place. Right, what's the gap? Oh my god, this is two laps. This is for first place as well. I can save a little bit. Oh dear, oh dear. He's got gearbox issues. Yeah, that's not good. It'll be fine for the first... Well, the last couple of laps or so. So we're catching that. Right, we'll push for now. Oh, yes, come on. Get past him, please. No, oh, he just took a better line through that corner. Got rest of the lap, don't worry. There we go. Sneak it down the inside. Can we hold it? Yes, just about. Nah, be fine. He's not getting any points. Paisha's dropped back. Navarro's in first place. Oh my god. Well, you know something. Oh my god, this this was such an annoying race with strategy. I had no clear really strategy of what was going to work. But, to be honest, like since our horrific mistake in qualifying this is an amazing result because Bo Asperenza had one driver who crashed and another who finished 10th 
That means we even get a bigger lead over them. Oh, no way. No way, he got demoted two places, as if. Right, we don't get any extra points, and neither do Bo Asperenza, which is good. Um, also, the points was actually sixth place, so... Yeah. Anyway. We get another trophy, Navarro is a fantastic driver. Uh, Navarro gets bumped up to fifth. Paget, oh well, um, Ovin and Paget are on the same number of points. Chariot motor racing though are actually better. And they're still top. However, our result is to finish second. So let's see. <laughs> 14 points. No, 15 points. We're 15 points ahead now. So we've got Basically, if we outscore Bo Asperenza in the next race, I think we're safe in second. Right, Orvin's a better, like, t um, driver than Navarro at the minute. Um, however, Navarro's outraced Orvin four times, outqualified him six times. Gosh, that's a lot compared to three. Uh, five podiums for uh, Orvin, but only two for Navarro. Form's better from... Ovin, points are better from Ovin, and, well, obviously the position is better than Ovin. Uh, contract for three months. Can I renew your contract? Right. Let's take a look at some drivers. Oh my god, these are, these are terrible. Carlos. This, this is Carlos Bloke. He was not... I don't think he's in any team. He's on... Oh my god. This is perfect. Good at feedback. Fuel hungry. Alright, that's not very good. Truck racing champion. Oh, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's take a look at Ovin, though. Consistency is not very good. Neither is his. Overtaking is really good. Feedback's really good. Braking is really good. Focus, fitness is decent, smoothness. Eh. This, he's potential here. He's potential. And then we've got all these. Oh my god, we've got some person down here. Oh my god, here's a good one. Feedback's terrible though. Timesheet hero. Cycling racer. Adaptability, smoothness. This is... This is good. Right, let's have a look at current marketability. 42 and 72. Okay, that's not very good. Right. Basically, we've got absolutely loads of decent drivers here. Um, apart from Frank Kinney, who's quite old and doesn't really have much potential. However, still a very good driver, but not as good as others. Unemployed. There's a lot of unemployed drivers. ZRT Auto Spot. Here we go. Here's Valdez. <laughs> Val, Val, he's, he's a pretty good driver. Um, in all fairness, going to renegotiate the contract. Renew the contract with Navarro. Let's go. Position within is equal status. My status is fairly important. Okay. Wages aren't important. Can I? I can literally just. Um, existing contract. Oh, look, I can have him on a less contract, which is good because the cost per race isn't that bad. He prefers a long one. Okay, so I can actually boost his wages up a little bit. Because he's getting, oh my god, you can't even like do that. 89. That saves us a bit more money. This saves us even more money. He's a decent driver and he's equal status. We'll keep him on that one, see what he says about that. Qualifying bonus. Bonus size isn't very important. Further above, he's getting about, uh, he's getting nine grand, so we can knock a bit off that. Oh God, um, we can knock that off, that's fine. Um, let's continue with that. So if we sent him his proposal, the contract for this 27 months on the cloud, in all fairness, 
don't think. She's born leader. Renewed passion. Is she better than I've been? Oh. Consistency wise and overtaking wise, she's better. Smoothness, worse. Cornering, worse. Fitness, better. Feedback, not very good. Focus, better. Focus is good. Although she's improving quite a bit. I might. She'll be promoted before long and then we'll get a new driver. There we go. And plus, he costs less than. He costs less than what he did before. 398. Wait. He costs 398 currently. The new contract that we have. Alright, we need to accept the contract. So he was happy. The qualifying bonus is good. I'll give him a qualifying bonus. Um, still cheaper. Equal status with his teammate. Um, contracted. His contracted status is reserve. I've just buggered that. However, that's all right because we can grab another first driver when we get rid of this person or whatever. That's going to be it though for this episode of Motorsport Manager Career Mode. Um, job security is uneasy now. Okay, dear. That's not really good. Um, essentially, we're one at risk of losing our job. However, However, I think we're okay at the minute um, in terms of where we are in the standings. We've just signed Navarro to another long-term contract. I am absolutely buzzing with that because he's a great driver. Um, Ovin's apparently a reserve driver and is doing better. It's, it's, this, is, this is messed up. This is weird. Um, so maybe come season's end, we might get rid of him. I don't believe signing another contract. I wouldn't want him to sign another contract. There's no potential left for him. Although, I'm going to test this really quickly. Um, he is interested. I'm going to test to see what we can actually get away with. They're fairly important to him. And I don't think he'd want to settle for 359. I mean, right, okay. So this plays into our hands a little bit more. Short contract, which is good. Because then that gives us another season or two, potentially, to improve our reserve driver. Because McLeod here needs to improve a little bit more before she gets, you know, before she even gets into the main driver stage. But she's apparently a reserve, promotes a reserve driver. Well, that's, that's, that's wrong. She needs to improve these. Ultimately. She hasn't got really mark any marketability at all. That's not very nice. That ugly trait's not very nice. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Motorsport Manager Career Mod. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, everyone, please leave a like and subscribe for more indie and simulation game content. And I shall see you all next time.